Our profession was founded on wellness. It's all about wellness. And somewhere we lost the vision. We got so caught up in the war we forgot what we were fighting for. Insurance got in the way. Diagnosis has gotten in the way. Now don't misunderstand me. I want you to be as clinically competent as you could ever be. I want you to be as professional and as polished as you can ever be. I want you to be as knowledgeable as you could ever be. But remember, chiropractic was never about treating disease. It was about maximizing human innate potential. That's what wellness is. That's what it was, and that's what it always will be. And if you just study what's going on in society, if you read newspapers in your local towns and cities and provinces, if you Google healthcare, if you go on to AOL or Yahoo, any search engine, the most prevalent thing that's showing up is wellness. Because the other end of wellness is disease care. The allopathic model, it's bankrupting America and Americans. I mentioned to you yesterday that 70, it is estimated that between 70 and 75% of all of our expenditure on health care in the United States is caused by lifestyle choices. What I didn't tell you is the other 25 or 30 percent of all of our expenditure in health care, disease care in this country is a result of the side effects and accidents of the medical system. It is based on a false premise. Now, please know, I'm not anti-medicine. I've shared with you, four years ago I had cancer. I don't know that I'd be here talking to you if it wasn't for medicine. They're really good at things, but not about keeping you healthy or making you healthy. By and large, in that realm, they are clueless with a capital clue. You, you ladies and gentlemen, are the solution to the predicament of the species. You, ladies and gentlemen, are the ultimate solution to the healthcare crisis. You, ladies and gentlemen, are the only sane option in an insane system. You, ladies and gentlemen, are the leaders of this entire process. And quite honestly, the only group of people that isn't certain about what I just said to you are you. Rise up. Raise your level of pride. Expand your self-esteem. Become more confident. Listen, there's a huge difference between confidence and cockiness. Nobody likes cocky people, but people are attracted to confident people like bugs to a light. Put a bounce in your step. Know what you're talking about. Realize that you have the gift of healing in your hands. Tell the truth. It'll set you free. Stop being so politically correct. Do it for the right reason, with the right intent the right energy, and the right attitude. But tell the truth. Tell the truth to your patients, your staff, your community, the business leaders, the opinion leaders, your school districts. If it is to be, it is up to we.